it's your girl Malika and today I am doing the bomb makeup challenge if you don't know what that is that is the black owned makeup challenge or black owned business makeup challenge and um basically everything that I use will be black owned everything that I used on my face except for my eyebrows was black owned and um, I had a great time doing this video. I used companies such as Laws of Nature, Plain Jane Beauty, Mented Cosmetics, Brown Leaf Cosmetics, Black Minerals Cosmetics, all companies that I really like. I am still in the testing stages of Mented Cosmetics, but I'm really, really feeling them. And I'm feeling this challenge. Now, some of the reasons why I chose to do this is because number one, I've always supported my black owned businesses. If you watch this channel religiously, then you know that majorly I use black owned makeup uh, products all the time. Um, and number two, to bring awareness to those who don't know about these brands, especially in the conventional makeup world, who don't know that good for you cosmetics do exist. This is clean beauty, non-toxic beauty, green beauty, whatever you want to call it. Um, know that there are brands out there in the indie world that are catering to you and you don't have to um, succumb to conventional makeup brands. And um, I just want to see more people doing this challenge, more people that don't look like me. And I do want to see people that look like me do it, but I want to see people that don't look like me do this challenge because oftentimes I find myself where we're supporting um, maybe white owned brands and then they never come over across the aisle and support black owned brands. And I really don't get down with that. I don't like that. And I'm not really trying to call anybody out. I just want you guys to step outside of your comfort zone and see that there's quality on both sides. Um, aside from that, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so you'll be notified when I upload. And I just wanna shout out to the person who made me this shirt because I really, really like it. And Killmonger is like one of my favorite characters out of the Black Panther movie and comics. So without further ado, let's get into this video. All right, so I'm starting off with a semi-blank canvas and I'm gonna go into my Plain Jane Beauty Concealer Trio and use the color Teak as my eyeshadow base. Um, I really love this concealer trio still to this day. Very creamy, very cover very pigmented and high coverage and a good eyeshadow base. Uh, I'm using the Mented Cosmetics Everyday Eyeshadow Palette. Um, or I have a review coming out on this very soon, so stay tuned. I'm taking the color Light Bright from this palette, and this is going to be my transition color, and I'm just going to sweep this on the upper part of my eye and just fade it out and make it a really, really nice transition color. I've been really, really enjoying this palette because you can just create some awesome everyday looks in it, and that is very bomb i'm going to take the shade red bone and that is going to be kind of like my next transition color so i'm going to try to melt these together um, to create a really pretty hue um and i'm just going to blend 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 until i feel they're melted together nicely Um, this challenge was a very good challenge to do and I enjoyed doing it. I'm taking the shade Red Bone and that's going to be my inner crease color. And like I said, I'm just going to keep blending them until they melt together. I really enjoyed this challenge because I enjoy showing people other products. If you're not into green beauty um, and you're watching this, all these products are non-toxic um vegan or cruelty free paraben free um some of them are organic and they all perform very well just like your conventional mainly toxic makeup products so 
consider picking up some non-toxic products and add them to your collection. I'm going to take the shade Second Date with a little bit of Plain Chain Beauty's Coconut Water Setting Mist on my brush to give the eyeshadow a really good foiled look. Now these eyeshadows don't need water or anything to make them look foiled. I just wanted a very deep kind of foiled look and I'm going to use this shade in my inner tear ducts as well and um, this is just going to be my lid color. I really love this bronzy shade. It's super pigmented and it's just really really pretty and this palette um, is only 28 bucks and you get a lot of product and I'll be doing a review on it soon so if you're new to my channel um, consider hitting that subscribe button so you can be notified when I upload that video um, just going back over this second date shade to deepen it and intensify it um, I love this look it's neutral but it's so cute and wearable I'm taking Laws of Nature's Foxy Finish Stick Foundation in the color bronze and I am going to really slay this all over my face. I'm buffing it in with a brush. This is medium to full coverage. I like a good medium to full coverage because I feel like if you're going to wear makeup, um, why wear a sheer foundation? That's just me. Sometimes I do like a sheer to or a light to medium foundation if it's hot outside but most of the time i want to be covered whether i have blemishes or not because i feel like that's the purpose of makeup to cover it up and if you want to try this foundation out for the first time i have a coupon code which is malika m-a-l-i-k-a for 20 percent off i'm not making any money off of this i just want you guys to try this i'm taking my black minerals cosmetics um flawless finishing dust in the color wheat and i'm going to set this foundation into my skin very lightly all over with a fluffy brush I'm taking the color upside brown because I didn't have a black on contour shade and I'm using that as my contour shade and I thought it did pretty well um, it was kind of in the between of the cool side but that's fine um, I really still thought that it warmed my skin up a bit and gave me the little um, extra dimension that I needed for this look. I'm taking the Glow Up palette from Brown Leaf Cosmetics and I'm going to use the color Butter Pecan as my highlight. And you can also get 15% off of any Brown Leaf Cosmetics from using my code Malika, M-A-L-I-K-A for 15% off. I love this um, palette. I love how these um, highlighters just melt into your skin they're not shimmery they're really just w like they're really like a natural highlight they give you the pigmentation that you want but they don't give you all that shimmer particles mess all over your face they just look really natural and um, yeah I'm going to use some more of second date for my brow highlight and I'm going to put some more of it in my inner tear ducts um, just to brighten those places up a bit and then I'm going to go into orange shiver and I'm going to use this as a blush um, it is a highlight shade but I like using it as a blush because it just adds this pretty kind of peachy color to my cheeks and I love that I'm a blush girl I love blush and we're going to take Just Mascara from Plain Jane Beauty. Um, this is a decent mascara. It does the job. Um, and yeah, I'm taking Mantic Cosmetics Pretty in Pink Lipstick. It's one of their nude shades. They make nude lipsticks for women of color. Um, and I really like this shade. It goes on really nice. I was going to use that Black Minerals uh, liquid lipstick, but I decided this lipstick went more well with the look. 
and this is really the completed look i'm going to spray some setting spray and give you guys a little slow action thank you guys for watching bye